In this Planet Zoo tutorial video, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know when creating and building roofs within Planet Zoo. I will then show you step by step how to create custom roofs and how to create custom roof design shapes which you wouldn't normally find within the game. So if you're currently having problems placing roofs or coming up with roof designs, then you're in the right place. Hopefully by the end of this video, you will be a Planet Zoo roof making expert. So let's get into this. So you have some sort of building, whether it be a hard shelter for animals within a habitat or a standalone building on, on the outside of your zoo like we see here and you're struggling building a roof. Now, there's different options. Obviously, if you've got a flat building, you can build a flat roof or a pointer roof. It's totally up to you. I'm going to show you how I go about creating a roof for this building here. It's kind of like a little um, lakeside lodge. Now, the first thing and the easiest thing we need to do, which you probably already know, we need to be on the same grid as the walls. This will just make sure everything is nice and neat and aligned. And then we want to find whatever roof we want for this because it's on a slant. We need a pitch roof. So we'll go on pitch roofs. And this is quite modern. So I think I'm going to go corrugated plastic, maybe, or plaster. Let's go this, let's go this. So we find the right slant, there we go, and you'll see it'll line up perfectly. Now, you'll see we'll start to line this up. Now, this is very basic roof placement. You probably already know this. So let's get this on, and I'll show you some tips and tricks what you might not know. And the last one there. Now, obviously, you see there's a bit of a gap. There's a bit of a gap here. Now, I don't like this gap, and I want to have it overhanging. Now, the only way to do that, there's two different ways, actually. I don't know what I'm lying for. There's two different ways. So it's going into the trim, finding the exact same name piece of what you've been using, the name of the roof. And then we go down here, get the right slant. There it is. And now it's overhang when you place it like that. Pretty much perfect. And then if you rotate this, you will see it won't overhang correctly because obviously it's pointing the opposite way. Now, I'll show you how I will get to do this how to make it overhang at the front and how to make it hang over the side if we go on into the building group again and we duplicate it it's on four meters in it but if we go to the settings here and put grid size to one meter you can see we can just move it over slightly and then all we have to do is do the same what we did in the first place and just create a little overhang and this works for the front as well you can do this just make sure everything is lined up like so And you can get a little overhang on your roofs as you please. Just like that. Keeping it everything on the same grid, but narrowing down the meters really does help when creating different roof lengths. You can see I've done it here. I've just added this flat roof here. Just gone out one like there would be a, a building there. And then just added supporting beams so it looks like it's actually supporting the roof. And feel free to mix things up and add glass to your roofs as well as skylights. It really does bring any creation alive. Back to this lodge just for a second to show you another little tip on a slanted roof. Well, not just slanted, any roof to be honest with you. Like I said, moving it and duplicating it with the meter grid size down in the settings really does help when creating overhang. But there's another way to do this as well. If you split one piece from the group, that piece is now free. You can move this piece however you want it. All you have to do is press X and it will move separate to this group. So if you want to place it there and then duplicate it in advance move, you can. So say if you don't even want it one meter and you want to really slightly overhang, just like that, you can. You can just simply move it out. Yes, you will have two different building groups, which is harder to group stuff and hard to make blueprints out of but it works. We are gonna be talking about spires and domes, so stay tuned for that. But first, let's have a little introduction to custom roofs. Now, custom roofing is more advanced. You can see here the stuff you can pull off on the grid. This is not a custom roof, this is on the grid pieces, and you can still pull off beautiful habitat, buildings, hard shelters, anything you want by using on the grid pieces with a couple of tips what I've just showed you. So don't worry if you're new to Planet Zoo and you're not going to be able to do some of the advanced techniques I'm about to show you to create a custom roof on the grid pieces are really effective. You can even style on the grid roof pieces up to make it look like a custom roof. Look at this. 
This is the same metal pieces we use for the lodge. I'll just go into the building here. But I've just dialed it up a bit. I just put a little trim around it, done an overhang, and then switched up the way it was going. And this design is actually called a butterfly roof. Now, there's many different ways to create custom roofs. It really depends on what you've initially built. So you can see here I've got a custom roof on this cute little cafe shop, which I've named Coffee Kingdom. And if we go into the roof, you will see these are Planet Zoo squares. So these are out of the shape, but the art shapes here go on flat shapes. I'll just turn um, blueprints off for a second. And this is this there. So you can recolor it and you can turn this into a roof. And this is what you would call a custom roof because it's a roof, but you've made it in a custom way, obviously. And then the sides here, I've just bulked it up a bit so it looks more of a thicker roof. And I've done the same design on the bottom here and on the back. And then I've just done it large enough so it covers the initial building. Remember, these are actually on the grid pieces here. So I started with on the grid pieces. And when I moved on to the roof, I went off the grid and created a custom roof. Right, I've got this kind of like British Victorian, like kind of old school warehouse you can see here. But we've got a problem. This part of the build here is not thick enough to put a roof on what's on the grid. So we need to create a custom roof. And you can see I've started doing this here. And I've done this using the tile. So this is the North African ceramic tile. Now, these are very, very useful when creating custom roofs, especially if you're creating tiled roofs if you've already got tiled roofs and you build like this these are obviously on the grid pieces you could just carry off with the same theme and the same colors it suits so you can see all i've done is i've just duplicated and moved them over and it's just a matter of lining them up now until it's finished and the whole area is covered remember if you've done one side like i've done here you can just duplicate it over to the other side and it will work so building that up is quite easy. All you have to do is place them individually. Yes, it's a pain in the ass to do, but how else would I have covered this roof? And it completes the look. And like I said, once you've got one block, you just duplicate it over and you've got another. Right, let's talk about circular roofs now, which are obviously a bit more complicated. You see, I've created this hooker duck stand and we need a circular roof for it because it's a circular structure. Now, this technique will work with bigger stuff as well. I'll show you bigger examples in a minute. But first, let me show you how we'll go about doing this. First of all, we need to line two pieces up. So let's line them up just like so. And obviously you want the center to be in the center like that. These are just two wooden pieces. Simple. All we have to do then is just press advanced duplicate. We press X and we just rotate it like so. And again, and you just keep going around until you've got all the areas covered. You can see gaps, but I'll show you how to tackle that in a minute. Just keep going all the way around, just like that. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna add all these to the same group. So you're gonna select them all, just like this. And then you're gonna do the same, duplicate and advanced move, press X, and you're gonna turn angle snap off now. And you're just gonna line them up next to each other just like so. And you can see, we've now got a circular roof on there. And you can pretty much do this with any pieces. Taking you, now, taking you now to a little habitat I created. And again, you can see here, I've done the same. So I've just selected two pieces. I'll just bring this out so you can see. That is the roof. All I have to do is do what I've just showed you and rotate it around and I've got a circular roof. And same with this taller building here. And once you learn this rotational trick, it will open up the possibilities to many more, including domes like this. It's the exact same principle. You can see this time, Let's go into it. This is a lot of pieces, by the way, so sorry if it does run slow. This is the North African ceramic tile. I'll just duplicate this house and I'll show you it. It's that tile and all I've done is I've created one side. I've literally just created one side all the way around, creating the shape I want. And then I've duplicated it over and rotated it around exactly how I've just showed you to create a circular dome effect. And exactly the same with the church here. I've just done point it up different planks of wood 
on one side to a point. Um, I'll just show you this. For example, just done boom, boom, and then I'll grab these two like this. Make sure your angle snap is on, rotate it all the way around 360, line them up to a point, and then select everything. And again, all I'm doing is rotating it around just like that until it creates a spire-like shape for any kind of like churches, what you can see here now. See, rotate it, select all of them, turn angle snap off, and again, rotate it until you fill the gaps, and there you go. That's how you create a spire and how you create a dome. Probably simpler than you thought, right? And when creating stuff, just get creative. You don't have to have a plain roof. You can see here I've created a habitat. It's got different levels of roofs. Even though they're all flat, it still looks very creative. And I've added foliage to the actual roof to give like a green um, effect to it. Kind of like a more natural conservation kind of effect. Try different color schemes out like you can see I've done here and see what suits you and see what matches up. Don't be afraid of thinking outside the box when it comes to roof and, well, when it comes to building in general. It can take a long time to master different roofs within Planet Zoo, but hopefully this video did help you on your way, if just a little bit. If it did, then hit that like button. If you're new around here and you want other Planet Zoo tutorials like this, then subscribe for more. My name's Adam. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next Planet Zoo video.